A lot of you have been asking about resource packs for Minecraft mobile or personal edition or Android, whatever. Well, it's easy to do. They basically use the same packs that you use for regular Bedrock. Let me show you how to load one of those into Minecraft mobile. I'll be using a Bedrock pack that I made here on my YouTube channel, and it's just gonna be changing the colors of the buttons on the menu page from the gray to a blue. It's a simple pack, easy for a good demonstration. Now you'll need a file manager for your phone. I'm using File Manager Plus right here, and I have my file inside of the media folder. And it's one right there that says custom buttons MC pack. So it has to be an MC pack. And then simply tap or double tap, depending upon your phone, onto that MC pack. And that should automatically launch Minecraft and import the pack for you. Okay, so the pack is importing right now. It should go pretty fast. And there we go, successfully imported new buttons. Once you have that imported, you then go into settings. And in settings, scroll down on the left-hand side to get to global resources. Open that up. Then go into my packs and click on that new pack, and then click on Activate. There we go, let's go ahead, we'll back out of here. Let that new pack load in. And then we'll check it out to make sure that it, we're getting the new buttons showing in here. And there we go, there's the blue buttons. Let's go ahead and get a little further into the game and double check that these buttons are also blue inside of the game, not just on the menu screen here. Okay, here we go. And let's go into Options. And there we go. There's our nice blue buttons. Rollovers are working and it all looks great. As you can see, real easy to do this. Just takes a regular Bedrock resource pack and you just have to get it onto your phone. Either download to your phone or copy it over like I did from my computer and then launch it from a file manager. If you wanna see more of these mobile videos, make sure you tell me about that in the comments. Also make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time.